so welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be recreating this look. So this is a look by one of my favourite YouTubers and makeup artists and I thought I'd give it a go and put my own little spin on it. So let's see how it goes. So I have already done my eyebrows um, and I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow to do those and um, I thought I'd just save us 10 minutes by doing them off camera. I'm now just going to carve them out and put down a base for my eyeshadow so I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape to do that. So I am just putting the concealer light up onto my temple because I might do a slightly different eyeshadow look to what she's done on there. So the palette I'm going to be working with today is this one here. So this is the Be Perfect Carnival. Carnival? This is the Be Perfect Carnival XL Pro palette. Um, now I'm not actually sure what kind of look I'm going to do yet. But none of my brushes are clean. Bit of an issue. First shade I'm going to go in with is this one here. So this is Make Waves. And I'm just going to pack that in the crease. I do want to pack this like all down into the inner corner as well. Packing it all the way through the crease from the outer corner all the way into the inner corner and I'm going to kind of like V it out on this outer edge. I slouch so much when I do my makeup, I need to stop. I'm just starting to like buff out the edges with the same brush with no additional product and just help the blending process later on. Be easy if I zoom you in, just zoom you. better. I hope that's better. Okay so I'm now just going to go in with the Chamomile Makeup Remover. Oh, this is from Body Shop and a Q-tip. I'm just going to take off the colour that's on my lid so it's easier to cut the crease. Now that the colour is removed from my lid I'm going to go back in with the same concealer. It's just a Tarte Shape Tape and just cut the crease properly. To cut my crease I just use a little flat concealer brush like this one and just sort of go straight in. I'm sort of um, like packing the concealer on instead of swiping it because if you swipe it it'll start to pick up some of that blue shade and it'll turn my base blue which I don't really mind because I'm going to put a blue colour on anyway but I just think it looks much better when I can't multitask. I think it looks a lot better when you've got like a clean base to work from. There you are, now the crease is cut and while it's still damp, I'm trying to like look up because I don't like to transfer. Um, I'm going to go in with this shade here, I hope you can see that. So this is the shade Peppermint and I'm just going to pop that on the lid. Okay, so now that I've got the colour all over the lid, I'm just going to use a bit of the blue colour we were using earlier and just like blend the edge of that together a bit. So I'm just going in with Make Waves, which is the blue colour from the beginning, and just blend that edge a little. So I just zoomed you guys out a little bit just so you can see the whole face again. I'm going to go in with the Body Shop Skinny Thin Felt Eyeliner and I'm just going to draw like the crack effect that we're going for or try. I'm going to try and draw. So this is going to be my basic shape and then we're going to fix it later. To prime I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro Correcting Primer. So this is like the anti-redness colour correcting primer. Um, I've never actually used this before. So for foundation I want to go for coverage so I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Matte Coverage Foundation. It is a little bit light for me at the minute, so I'm just going to pop it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to go in with the 
Body Shop shade adjusting drops. Um, I don't actually know if they sell these anymore, but I'm just gonna add a teeny drop. It's like the teeniest bit. This is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer Concealer and this is in the shade 320 Porcelain We're just gonna cover those dark circles I do want to do a little bit of cream contour but not loads so I'm just gonna go in with the Maybelline um, Superstay multi-use foundation stick now this is in the shade 070 cocoa i'm just gonna go in with a brush and take it like straight off there i'm also just gonna do like the perimeters of my face to try and eliminate some of this pipe head Taking my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and just setting the under eye area before we get all creasy and disgusting. I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me powder just to like, just to set the rest of my face. Let's go. What is wrong with me? No, I like to like push the powder in rather than swirl it around because I don't want to move. And apart from my neck, where it just helps to blend. Um, because I just don't want it to move any of the work I've already done. Okay, so before I do anything else, I'm going to do my lower lash line. So I'm just going to zoom you guys back in. I'm going to first go in with Make Waves, which is the main blue we were using earlier. And the same brush, just because it's a smallish brush anyway. I'm going to connect it to the shadow we did earlier. I can't speak and do this at the same time. I need to work on this. I'm also just blowing out that outer corner a bit more. Um, so it's going through the brow a little bit but nothing too crazy. Now do we get ballsy and move on to the other side? Eye Magic Professional Cosmetics 12 Flash Colour Case looks like this and I'm gonna take the white and not the green but the black so I'm just gonna go in with these two here to make a nice grey. I've never used this palette before so I don't know how much it generally takes. This is what we're working with. I don't hate it. Yeah. I'm gonna go in again I'm being that person that everybody's gonna hate, but I'm like just digging it out. We're gonna add some lighter grey to the bits you'd conceal. I'm gonna go in with just white on a brush and I'm gonna do the lid. I bought it. <laughs> I'm gonna go back in with the RCMA No Colour Powder and I'm just gonna set all that in place ready for like shadows and stuff. I'm just gonna dip into my James Charles palette and use the black from the up. So I'm actually gonna use a pencil brush to do this and I'm just gonna start mapping out the shape. I'm now just going to take a fluffy brush Oh no, because my hands don't work and I keep throwing them. Let's try again. So I'm going to use a fluffy brush and start just blending that out with a teeny weeny bit of black on the brush. But going back in with the pencil brush and just making sure that I've got like a solid bit of colour and that it doesn't look quite that patchy. That'd be great. And also, since I've used the darker blue to deepen out this corner of this crease. I'm going to do the same on this side but I just build up 
the intensity of the black a little bit. While I'm here, I'm just going to do the little lash line. I feel like this is starting to, to work. I can, I can get on board with this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to see if I own a silver dry shirt. My silver eyeshadow. Now the... Oh my god. What is wrong with me? So the only silver I can find is actually in this teeny little palette that I've had since I was about... I'd say about 12. This one here. So this is the Colour Experts Graphite Smoke little palette. I don't even know if they still do these. It's not as bright as I wanted it to be, so I'm gonna go in with the shade in the middle and um, just to brighten it up a little. And so I'm just gonna take a little brush like this and just use the end to make it look a bit more defined in the crease. I should have just stopped being lazy and actually cut the crease. But yeah, I'm just using a mix of those two silver shades just to make this a bit neater, basically. Going in with that teeny weeny little pencil brush from earlier and she's in a bit of black to help me in that up. Now I don't know how this is translating on camera but in person I quite like it. Uh, it's growing on me. I need to do something with this brow. That's going to be the next job. So I'm just going to take this big ass like angled brush I'm going with black and just go over my brow and see what happens did that work? we're gonna run with it, we're gonna run with it for bronzer I'm gonna go in with my Too Faced Milk Chocolate Sole bronzer I've got a really too face, not the time so I'm just gonna take it on this brush at like an angle like that and just bronze up my face. I feel like lashes is gonna like really bring this together or at least I'm praying it does because I don't know what else to do with it if it doesn't. I'm gonna take this huge ass fluffy brush in my bronzer and just like bronze slash contour my nose a little on the one side that's showing. For blusher, I'm going to go in with this one here, which is the L'Oreal Life's Peach. I absolutely love this. It smells so good. I just like to blend it back into my bronzer and then pop it on the apples of my cheek as well. And then recently, I've been really liking it on the end of my nose. Um, and now I want to try a product that came the other day that I've not really had the chance to try properly yet. Um, so I got these two by Revolution. So these are the Revolution Highlighter Reloaded. And I got Peach Lights and Golden Lights. So I'm going to go in with Golden Lights today. So I'm just going in with the Morphe M501. Going straight in there. And I'm just going to hit the cheekbone oh wow okay yep we can get on board with that i don't know if you can see it on camera but in person that is blinding blinding so just pop it on my chin my cupid's bow my nose and above the eyebrow i'm just gonna pop the, this out a bit here what i'm gonna do is take a really small brush like this one and I'm gonna just swirl it on up in there. And I'm gonna use this on, and then in my inner corner as well. I think this gold really complements that blue. I'm now just gonna take a different little brush and I'm gonna do the same kind of stuff but on this eye with the light silver from that Color Experts palette that I was using earlier. Just to do like the inner corner and stuff. this on the cheekbone as well just so 
everything's tied together even though I'm gonna be darkening that bit up in a minute <laughs> now we're gonna start putting it off and do the black lines so I'm gonna go back in with that body shop highlighter and I'm just gonna go for it this is what we're now working with going with like a flattish brush quite a thin one and i'm just gonna add shading to like all the bits that I'd cast a shadow down that way i think if i just keep working on it i'll just end up ruining it so i'm gonna pop on some scar and some lashes and then we'll figure out what we want to do from there. You can put mascara on without doing like on your bottom lashes without pulling the ugly bottom lash mascara face. I am like so unbelievably jealous and impressed by your skill. I, I physically can't not pull the annoying face. Okay, so today for lashes, I'm gonna go in with the Cookie X Lashes X Lashes in the style of Baby. They just look like this. Very long, very fluttery. I've not actually tried these ones yet. I've tried a few of the other styles. Absolutely love them. Absolutely love those. Oh my god, look at that. Yes. I usually have like a lot of trouble putting on lashes on like the first time I wear them as well. But these were super easy to shape. Oh. Chug. So lashes are on. So like I said, these are in the style baby from Cookie X Lashes X M. So you can actually use code GEORGIACL19 to get money off your order at Cookie Lashes. Highly recommend, they're really affordable, really good quality and I am obsessed with them. Moving on to lips because I've got so much going on I want to keep it pretty simple. So I'm first just going to go in with my lip liner. So this is the Body Shop Lip Liner. It's a little definer. Um, I can't remember the shade, but I'll pop it on screen. I'm actually just going to go in with the Revlon Ultra HD Matte Lip Colour. Um, I was going to go in with something a bit darker, but I really do want to keep it quite light. So this is in the shade Seduction. Oh, I forgot how nice it smells. Oh, it smells so good. So this is the finished look. Uh, I can't decide if it turned out better or worse than I expected it to. Uh, the shading's a little choppy. I don't mind it for a first attempt. I'm relatively happy. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've watched this far, thank you. So yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and comment and subscribe. It really, really helps me out. I hope to see you again soon. Thank you.